I got it. Hello? I'd like to talk to Judd Thompson. He's not here right now. Can I get him a message? Uh, this is Officer um, uh, Franklin with the police. Uh, do you have any idea when he'll be back? I ain't even sure where he is. Uh, it's very important that we speak with him as soon as possible. Okay, let me grab a pen. I'll have him call you. What's your number? Strange. What's that? They said there were police calling for Judd, but they didn't want to leave a number or nothing. That doesn't sound like the cops to me. What's the caller ID say? <sighs> Unavailable. Man, that wasn't the cops. All right, Darren, we better get you and your mom out of here quick. Uh, we're not expecting anyone. Oh, great. This can't be good. Episode 29, The Graham Conspiracy. You can't be serious about this, Judd. I really don't believe they're dead. This has been big news all over the world. This isn't some crazy conspiracy. The Israelis have their bodies in the morgue. Now, come on, Buck. They're saying Dr. Ben Judah killed his family. You know that didn't happen. If they're lying about one thing, maybe they're lying about everything else. I wish that was true. All right, I want you to take me to Israel with you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so, Judd. Why? Well, we're not talking about a vacation here. I'm going to find the rabbi. Hopefully before the GC get their mitts on. Yeah, well, I have the same responsibility to Nina and Daniel. Listen, don't get the idea that I care any less about Nina and Daniel than you do. Then help me! I am helping you, Judd. I'm telling you that you're wasting your time. You going to Israel is only going to put you in danger. And call me a softy, but I don't want to see you die unnecessarily. Yeah, neither do I. Buck, I just... I just have a feeling. I can't help you. Is there room enough for both of you in there? That's it. Where are you going to uh, take us? Hiya, take him to Bruce's. We'll catch up with you there as soon as we can. You got it. Ladies, watch your heads, and this will be a perfect chance for a little prayer meeting. Already started. Don't forget about us. Don't waste any time. I can't be very comfortable. Well, I hope no one rear ends us. I did not need to hear that. Y'all ready? Yeah. Go for it. There's something I can help you with? My name is Candace Goodwin. I'm looking for Vicki Byrne. Oh, yeah. I remember you. You were the one that sent me to Northside Detention Center last year. If you recall, I work for the social services. I recall you were the one that sent me to Northside Detention Center last year. Can I come in? Well, I don't live here anymore. You have to ask the owner of the house. Is Mr. Thompson here? Hmm, no. I'll, I'll only be a minute, I promise. How about you, Lionel? Do you mind if she comes in? As long as her shoes are clean. Okay. You can borrow a little of the front hallway. Thank you. I want to know what you're going to do now. Do about what? We received the report of Bruce Barnes' death. He was your guardian. How could you have heard It about doesn't matter how we know. Do you deny it? He wasn't my guardian. He adopted me. He was my father. Either way, you and I have some important matters to discuss. Like what? Technically, you're a ward of the state now. What's that supposed to mean? It means that unless we find a suitable alternative, you could be sent back to Northside. What? Oh, excuse me a minute. Uh-oh. I, I need to get going, but here's my card. We really do need to talk. Oh, I can't wait. I'll be in touch. Goodbye. How did they know about Bruce? They're probably the ones who killed him. I want to know why I'm so important that they're coming after me again. What do you mean? Well, why'd they come here to find me? I don't live here anymore. I haven't lived here for over a year. How'd they even know to find me here? Never thought of that. We're going to have to start thinking of that stuff if we're going to stay ahead of these people. Who's that that just left? That was the lady that shipped Vicky off to Northside. Candace Goodwin. Here's her car. What did she want? She just stopped in to let me know that with Bruce gone, they want to do what's best for me, which of course is send me back to Northside. How did they know about Bruce already? Yeah, we found that a bit curious as well. These GC dudes are really creeping me out. What happened to Darian and her mom? I took them over to Bruce's house. We got some weird phone call. The cops looking for you. Except they didn't sound like cops. When was this? Just a few minutes ago, right before that Goodwin lady got here. I'm thinking, uh, we all spend the night at Bruce's house. Good idea. It's 
So that's it, basically. Buck won't take me with him, so I have to find my own way. What is the big deal with you wanting to go to Israel anyway? I mean, what do you want to prove? I can't explain it, Fink. I, I feel like God is drawing me back there. I think it means the Ben Judah family isn't dead. So if I'm catching this, you're going to travel halfway around the world because of a feeling? I said I can't explain it. That doesn't make no sense. What if it's a bad fish stick or something? It's not like that. Ryan, you're sitting there all quiet. What's your read on this little trip? I think you ought to take me with him. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. Uh, you're uh, that's not what she asked. I'm just saying that if you go, I want to go with. <laughs> we still haven't decided what? whether he's going or not. Uh, I'm going. I'm just not sure how yet. So... No matter what we say, you're gonna go? I have to. Whatever. Look, we obviously won't agree. So why don't we just leave it in God's hands? What do you mean? If God provides a way for him to travel, then he'll go. And what if he doesn't provide one, then I won't go? Right. Sounds fair to me. So if I call an airline with my credit card and get a ticket, you guys will let me go? If you can do that, then God obviously wants you to go. Most airports are still picking up the pieces from the war. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to trust God. Yeah, me too. Is there anything I can do to help you? Could you grab me the milk from the fridge? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what I meant was, can I help with your trip to Israel? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm, I mean, with the money you put into my bank account, I, I can afford to go. The problem is, none of the airlines are flying out of Chicago right now. Mm. Have you thought about taking a private jet? <laughs> Sounds great, if I had a private jet. Lucky for you, I just happen to have one. And a pilot to fly it. Really? It's true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the trouble is, where do we fly out of? I mean, the airports are all trashed, you know? We have an underground hangar on our property. There's a runway there, too. What, what property? Your house? Yes. No, the, the house Vicky and I were at? That's the one. There's a runway there? Oh, you wouldn't have seen it. It's well hidden. Here, the pilot's name is Taylor Graham, and that's his number. <laughs> wow. Can we trust him? He's the only person that worked for my husband that I do trust. Huh. I guess God did provide a way after all. Looks like I'm going to Israel. Come on, man. Give me one good reason why I can't go with you. How about because it's not a pleasure cruise? This could be dangerous. Oh, yeah, like I'm not in any danger sitting here right now. Look, I know you can handle it when things get a little dicey. You did great with the whole Darien thing, Then right? why can't I go to Israel? Well, <sighs> you don't even have a passport. <clears throat> Guys. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey. I heard what you were just talking about, and maybe I can help. Help who? Him or me? I just wanted to show you something that showed up here a couple of months ago. What is it? Open it. It's a passport. Hey, it's my passport. Great. Thanks, Haya. Yeah. Sorry. Bruce got it so he could take Ryan with him on his next trip. Ha! Did you hear that? Come on, Judd. You gotta let me go with you. Bruce would've. I don't suppose there's anything I can say to change your mind? Are you kidding? Ryan, I guess you and I need to see a man about a plane. Yes! So do you even know what this graham cracker guy looks like? Taylor Graham. No, but he sounded pretty young on the phone. He can't be much over 30. I think when he gets here, I'm going to let you do the talking. That's probably a good idea. I don't want to tell him everything. Don't you trust him? I don't even know him. I mean, I know Mrs. Staley trusts him, but we got to be careful. This could be him. I need a cup of coffee, black, and a long john, Phil. Yeah, that sounds like the guy I talked to. Thanks, darling. Keep the change. One of you, Judd Thompson? Hey, I am, yeah. Uh, this is Ryan. Hey. Taylor Graham. You mind if I sit? No, no, go ahead. So, you want me to fly to Israel, huh? Yeah, that's right. I gotta tell you, I wasn't expecting a couple of kids. And that matters because... Well, Ryan, I haven't agreed to anything yet. In fact, if it weren't for Mrs. Staley, I wouldn't even be here talking to you. I suppose the GC is looking for you, too? They're, they already found me. I just did a VIP run to Dallas for him. It gave me something to do while Staley's grounded. They told you he was grounded? 
the Twix I got said he was out for a few days and might not be back. I was hoping he'd be here to tell me what was going on. You don't know, huh? What? If you know something, spill it. You sure you want to listen to a couple of kids? Listen, knock off the song and dance. Max is a friend. If something happened to him, I need to know. Taylor, something happened to Max. Are we flying? I told you, Mrs. S set this up. We're flying. Good. And here's what happened. What did the guy that shot him look like? Mid-40s, salt and pepper hair, and a scar on his chin. Was he wearing a pinky ring? I didn't notice. It sounds like Blaine. Who's Blaine? Dick Blaine. He's a GC big dog in Chicago. Or, he was. He and Max used to be business partners a few years back until they had a falling out, I guess you'd say. I guess this makes things a bit more interesting. So, so what's the deal? Will you take us or not? I don't know. What do you want to go to Israel for anyway? Uh, we want to visit some friends. Okay, if you want me to trust you, you're going to have to cut the nonsense. What? You two aren't all wired to take a joyride to Jerusalem because you miss your friends. I ask again, what's in Israel? Okay, okay, I'll tell you, but uh, first I have a question for you. What are we playing here, some kind no, of... No, 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 listen. Do you know that guy out there? What, what guy? The guy there, walking this way, the black suit? No, I've never seen him before. I had him locked in the trunk when Blaine killed Max. You had? Yeah, he got away. It's probably one of Blaine's men. Oh, great. All right, I say we see if there's a back door to this place. Got it. Hello? Vicky, you're not gonna believe this. Where are you? Ryan and I are on our way to Israel. When are you leaving? Graham said he'd take us, but only if we leave right away. No packing, no nothing. Oh, that's crazy. What about your passports? We got them. Well, why does he want to leave all of a sudden? Not sure I got that totally figured out yet. Vic, I need you to do me a favor. What? I need you to get my car, okay? It's at the donut shop in Prospect Heights. Get Louise and Darian somewhere safe. Tell them it's taken care of. We're moving them to Loretta's. All right, good. I'll call you as soon as I can. All right. Bye. Bye. What is this place? It's Staley's house. It looks like a fortress. It practically is a fortress. Lucky for you, I've got the keys. Sweet. I won't have to outrun the dogs this time. You outran Jim and Max? Well, somewhat. Apparently, you're still alive. <sighs> yeah. We hopped the wall over by the front of the house. Had no idea there was so much land back here. No reason why you would. So what are we doing back here? Look over there. Tell me what you see. Pine trees. And a hill. Nothing that looks like a landing strip? No way. Good. Increases the chances the GC haven't found it yet either. Wait, I thought you were the GC. I work for Staley. Or, I should say I worked for Staley. Hold it, you're talking about a landing strip? There's no room to land a plane back there. Sure looks that way, don't it? Then what? Keep an eye on that tree stump. Which one? By the hill. Whoa! It disappeared! Oh, man, it sank right into the ground. What is that thing? That, my boys, is one of the hidden tunnels into the hangar. What do you mean? The hangar is underneath us? No. It's right in front of us. The hill? The hill is a hangar? You can't be serious. Is. Can. Am. Impressive. Man, didn't Stanley trust anyone? He trusted me. This is where he keeps the private jet for when he wants to fly under the GC radar, as it were. <laughs> this is awesome! Let's go! Hang on there, little buddy. One of us needs to open the hangar doors from here in the car. I don't want to give the hangar away until we're ready to skedaddle. I can do that. What do you want me to do? Okay, Ryan and I are going to go do a quick pre-flight. When you hear the engines winding up, press this button. Okay, what's going to happen then? The doors will open up right over there. You lock the car up and I'll taxi the plane out. We're off to Israel. So why do I get the feeling that there's more to this that I don't know yet? Well, there's always a chance that a GC hit squad is waiting inside for us. <laughs> oh, is that all? Man, for a second there, I thought we might be in danger. Okay, Ryan, I need you to power up the computer equipment in the cabin. There's a panel of red breaker switches across the top row. Man, what is all this stuff? The satellite communications, global positioning, you name it. Wow, and I thought Judd was a geek because he could program the VCR. <laughs> hey, I want you to remember something, Ryan. Uh, yeah? From here on out, you do as I tell you, got it? Yeah. We may have to scoot out of here in a hurry, and I don't need you getting in the way. That's cool. I'm serious. Even if Judd doesn't make it, you do what I say. Uh, hey, you're the captain.
Come on. What's taking so long? What's this now? You three, go that way. You, over there. Oh, no. It better be you, Graham, because I'm opening the hangar. Hey, you, hold on. Time to fly the Freddy's guys. <laughs> Ryan, buckle up! What's going on? We got company, we're taking off! You can't leave Judd! We, we gotta pick him up! I said strap yourself in! The door is still open! But I think Judd should get back there and shut it now! Look, there's Judd, he's on the side of the strip! He can jump on as we go by! He can run that fast! Uh, he'll do it! Almost there! Yeah, there's no need for that! Uh, Judd, come on! Pull me in! Give me your hand! They're gonna jump! Uh, 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 get that door shut! Uh, uh, hey, Judd, go! Go! Uh, John, are you okay? Oh, I'll make it. Uh, wow. You and Bruce never mentioned how exciting these trips were. Are you sure it's okay for us to stay here? We don't want to inconvenience Loretta in any way. Oh, no, no, you won't. Loretta's awesome. She'll appreciate the company. How long do you think we'll have to stay here? I don't know. Uh, the good news is the GC won't be watching this house the way they're probably watching Judd's or my house. No, we can be thankful for that. That's one thing to be thankful for. Hi, uh, what are you doing here? Delivering a message. Can we, um, talk downstairs? Uh, sure. Oh, go ahead. We'll unpack our things. Okay, thanks. We can't stay here, Darian. What do you mean? We're placing them in danger. I don't think they understand what would happen if we're found with them. Well, what should we do? We should leave. As soon as possible. They won't like that. It's for their own good. So, what's going on? That Goodwin lady called. She wants to meet with you tonight. The house? It doesn't seem like it'd be our best move. No, no. She said she wants to meet at Cafe Liesel, 9 o'clock. Did she say what she wants? wouldn't say. Just to meet her there tonight. I think I should go? I don't know. I mean, she doesn't sound like she's trying to catch you at something. Sounds like she just wants to talk. I'm um, still not sure I can trust her. Listen, um, okay. You go meet her, and I can sit at a nearby table or something. If anything weird happens, we can both get out quick. I suppose I can't avoid her forever. Okay, I'll be there. Well, kids, say goodbye to the eastern seaboard of Canada. Next stop, Israel. <laughs> you can relax now, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a world war just finishing. The global community's probably looking for us. Other than that, what could possibly be the matter? Well, <laughs> my dad was, uh, my dad was killed in a plane crash. Well, you can relax. I haven't had an accident yet. Yeah, well, neither of my dad. Vicky, over here. Hey, Miss Goodwin. I'm glad you're here. Let's go to my car. Oh. Okay. I, I, I thought I'd get a coffee. I really think we should go right away. All right. What's so pressing that we couldn't talk about it in there? I just didn't want anyone to see us together. I shouldn't even be talking to you at all. Your house is under surveillance. <laughs> my house? Why would anyone watch my house? The GC thinks you're hiding a murder suspect. What? That's nuts! Who am I supposed to be hiding? I don't know any details, but it must be someone important. I got wind of it this afternoon. So, why are you telling me this? You work for the GC. I work for social services. What's the difference? Well, for one thing, I don't agree with everything the global community is doing. Then why are you always after me? Because ever since that day in your principal's office last year, I've... I've been impressed by you. Really? The way you handled yourself under pressure. The way you talked about what you believe. You impressed me. Is that why you wanted to talk to me? Because I stood up to those people? I'm here to give you a chance. There's a lot of people who seem to have it in for you. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, you're one of them. I'm going to drive us somewhere else. Well, why? We need to keep moving. Well, what are you afraid of? The same thing you are. Right now I'm afraid of you. I'm talking about the global community. <sighs> You're going to need to find another place to stay tonight. That's covered. Why are you helping me? Oh, 
Hold on. Tell me! I work with troubled kids every day. Thousands have gone homeless since the disappearances. Most of them have fallen through the cracks. Yeah, I haven't been that lucky. Lots of these kids act tough to put on a good show, but they're all scared to death. You're the first person that had more direction than the people trying to help her. What? Oh. Your principal, Janice, and that other teacher. Waltman? Yeah. They pretended they had it all together, but you could tell they were about to snap. Do you know what happened to Mrs. Walton? She and that coach, the handelsman, got sent to a re-education facility. Oh. Okay. Nobody will see us here. Well, I still don't get it. What do you want from me? Listen. All my life, I've, I've tried to be a good person. I've always played by the rules. I ran student government, I was valedictorian, I was pretty popular. Let me guess, captain of the pom-pom squad. I still have him in a box at home. Mm, big surprise. Then I went to college. I, I studied to teach disabled children. I did field work with social services and saw what a huge need they had. I don't want to sound rude, but what has this got to do with me? When you told us about your faith, you didn't talk about a bunch of rules. Until then, that's all I thought religion was. Most people do. Well, I followed the rules. I went out of my way to help people. I've even taken people into my house. But I've never felt accepted by God. Hang on. Is that what this is all about? You want to know about my faith? Actually, yes. I want to know how I can have hope. Like you do. <sighs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, there's a verse in the Bible that says if you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's it? You just have to believe? Does that sound easy? Because it's, it's not. Well, what about all the good things I've done? They don't... they don't mean anything. So if you don't do good things to get to God, why do them at all? Well, how about, like, to show your love and respect for that God? Good things are good, but they're just not going to save you. Okay, so tell me what will. Vicky, over here. You will not believe what just happened. I think I can beat it, whatever it is. Goodwin just prayed to accept Christ. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, isn't that cool? Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I have different news. Bad news. What? When you guys drove off, I tried to follow you, but she was driving like a maniac. Oh, tell me about her. When I lost you, I stopped back at Loretta's to see if you'd called her or anything. Yeah? Louise and Darian are nowhere to be found. What? Vicky, they're both gone. So, what do you think of Israel so far? Well, this stinky little airport, which by the way is all I've seen of Israel, is absolutely dynamite. Yeah, yeah. When we get a car, you'll see more. If we get a car. Graham said there were cars here we could use. All right, guys. Here's a scoop. We got nicked a couple of times by bullets during takeoff. Ooh. Nothing too serious, but it needs to be patched up. How long will that take? Not long. My man Benjamin is going to take care of it while we head into Jerusalem. We? The way I see it, you guys may need help getting past a few GC checkpoints. Yeah, but the GC is after you, too. They may be after Taylor Graham of Chicago, but they're not after Jeffrey Croton from East Finchley. Unbelievable. You're prepared for everything, aren't you? Well, I'm afraid I find myself fresh out of bulletproof vests at the moment. But other than that... Well, let's just hope that nobody shoots at us. Again. Episode 30, Burning Hot Video. Yikes. I can't believe how many GC soldiers there are in Jerusalem now. Is this more than normal? Last time I was here, I hardly saw any. <laughs> Listen to you. Last time I was here. <laughs> They're probably looking for that rabbi that killed his family. Um... These guys want you to stop. Right. So they do. Okay. Time to take the forged passport for a spin, eh, Jeffrey, old boy? 
Ryan, you and I keep quiet. Works for me. Passports? Certainly, certainly. There you go. And what is the nature of your visit to Israel, Mr. Croton? Uh, we're on holiday, my good man. See the sights. Eat the oranges. Enjoy the safety, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. I don't suppose you'd know how we could get to see those mad chaps at the Wailing Wall, would you? We saw them on... This area is not a tourist center. And why do you have two Americans with you? Oh, they're in my charge for a week. As I said, we're on holiday. Move along. Well, that wasn't so bad. That was the easy part. Where to now? Here's the address. Okay. You have any idea where this is? I can tell you how to get there. What is it? It's the address of the rabbi who was accused of killing his family. Really? Yep. Wow. When you guys travel, you hit all the party spots. Look at that! They burned the house to the ground! I think they were afraid the rabbi would come back. And there's no way Nina and Daniel would come back here either. Nina and Daniel? Yeah, the rabbi's kids. The kids are dead. Ben Judah killed them. No, sorry, I ain't buying it. 600 years ago, they didn't believe the earth was round. It didn't change the fact. Look, I know these kids. I met them right over there in front of that house. What are you looking at? The kid on the stairs. He looks familiar. I think he was there last time I was here. He probably lives here. Maybe he knows something. Wait here, I'm gonna go talk to him. I wanna go. No, just wait here. He's right. Stay put. I suppose. I'll be right back. Excuse me, uh, do you speak English? I speak English, yes. Good, good. Can I ask you a question? You came because of all the things in the news? Uh, I'm not with the news. My name is Judd Thompson. What is it you want? Nina and Daniel were friends of mine. You must not say their names. I remember that Daniel used your house to sneak into his. I must go. I don't believe they're dead. Then you are wrong. Please, tell me what you know. How do I know you're not with the attackers? You could be one of them trying to trap me. Now, I'm a believer in Christ, just like Nina and Daniel. I, I don't know why, but, but I feel like God has me here for a reason. If you can help me... I am going into my house. But... <laughs> you will wait a few minutes and then join me inside. The door will be unlocked. Uh, okay. Uh, how do I know you're not trying to trap me? I guess we will have to trust each other. Welcome to my hideout. Is anybody else here? My mother no longer lives with us, and my father has left for work. Don't you go to school? My father has let me stay home today. I'm glad he did. Maybe I can get to the bottom of this. You may wish differently in just a few moments. Oh, is this your bat cave? This is where I keep things that I don't want other people to find. Such as? This video camera. Wait. You have it on tape? Yes. Can... Can I see it? I will show it to you. But first, I must tell you about that day. I wonder what's going on. I don't know. I'm not sure we should have let him go into the house alone. Well, let's... Let's just wait a little longer before we, uh... Before we... Before we... What? I don't know. Swell. Listen, if you come up with a plan, you let me know, okay? I was sick that day. My father told me I could stay home, but not to go outside. I had nothing to do but watch television or read. Okay. By the afternoon, I was sitting at the window watching for my father. That's when I saw the van. What van? A black van. It just parked up the road under the trees. Nobody got out. Nothing moved. It just waited. Huh. What happened then? It seemed strange to me. So I got out my video camera in case something happened. Sometimes they buy these tapes for the news broadcast. Yeah? About that time, the rabbi's driver pulled up. 
Mrs. Ben Judah came outside. Where were Nina and Daniel? They got out of the car and went into the house. A minute later, the van pulled up and the soldiers jumped out. That's when I started recording. Now, are you ready to see it? Um, yeah, I guess. Where is the rabbi? I will not betray my father! Tell us! Mother! Nina! Spare your life, kid. Tell me where he is. I... Uh, now, before it's too late! I... I, I want to see your face! There, now tell me! I'd rather die and betray my Little... father! The rabbi is not inside. What now? To the university. No matter what they believed, they died needlessly, and with honor. They were treated like animals. Some animals are treated better. What happened to the rabbi? Nobody knows. Wow. I came here for nothing. They're already dead. Perhaps there still is a reason why you're here. Oh? I'm listening. I cannot keep this videotape way too dangerous for me. What do you want me to do with it? I don't care what you do with it. Just take it. Think of something. What? Use it to get even with the people who did this to my friends. So, that videotape is why we came to Israel? It has to be. Nothing else makes sense. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure yet. All I know is that we can't let just anybody get their mitts on this tape. Well, what about Graham? We don't need to worry about him as long as he's up in the room, asleep. I'll put it in the safe at the front desk. Okay. Well, what are we going to do tonight? Well, this is your first time in Jerusalem. We may as well take in the sights. Cool. here listening to Eli and Moisha. I know, it's pretty cool, but we have to be careful. Most people here don't like them. I, I want to get closer. They're going to be quiet for a while now. This might be a good time to get closer. Be careful, boys. Those two can breathe fire. Ah, uh, thanks. We're okay. You are both brave and foolish. Well, actually, they're preaching the truth about Jesus. I, mean, I believe what they're saying. Uh, remember what I said about being careful? Uh-oh, this is bad. <laughs> Blessed are those who mourn! What? Ryan, he's looking at you. What should, what should I do? Move closer. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall receive comfort. You're talking about Bruce, aren't you? The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Was amazing. They were talking right to me. Yeah, I know, me too. I mean, I just wanted to see him in person. Never thought they'd talk to me. I want to tell Taylor about it. I'm not so sure I would do that right now. We still aren't sure which side he's on. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, of course, it looks like he's no longer with us. I wonder where he went. He took all his... Wait, hold on. He left a note on the bed. You two don't need me hanging around. Call me on my cell phone when you're ready to leave. Huh. Maybe we should have told him where we were going. Actually, I think I like it better this way. I just hope he doesn't take off and leave us here. Hey, Judd, uh, what do you think they meant when they said the stuff about God being slow to anger and all? At first I thought he was talking about us. No, I, I can't help but think it has something to do with that videotape. What do you mean? Maybe God is going to judge the people that killed the Ben Judas. And he's going to use that tape? Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I think. Dude, you're not thinking of turning over to the authorities, are you? 
And I know it sounds dumb. It sounds but... dumb because it is dumb and dangerous. Oh, really? If the people on the tape have anything to do with the global community, they're going to want to find everyone who's even touched it. Yeah, well, Nina and Daniel were my friends. Yeah, well, getting revenge is wrong. I don't want revenge. I want justice. Remember what Eli Moishe said? God will take care of the wicked. That's right, with our help. Oh, yeah, I forgot. God does need our help. You know what I mean. Something just... It doesn't seem right. I'm taking the tape to the authorities. Just right? like that. I have no say in the matter. Yeah, you've had your say. I listened to you and decided to do it my way. <sighs> Whatever. I'm not even going to bother arguing with you, all right? Good. All right, so first thing in the morning, we'll take the tape over to the cops. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, you want to call home? Yeah, might as well while we're still alive. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Hello? Hey, what's up, Lionel? I ought to be asking you what's up. Where are you? Jerusalem. Yeah? Bring me back some fruit. Because of the war, they say we ain't going to get any here for weeks. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Anything else going on? Yeah, we got some assembly meeting at the school in a couple of days. They want to know who's still alive. Yeah, it's almost time for school again, isn't it? Yeah. Vicky and I are working on a special underground newsletter to sneak in. Let people know about Bruce's funeral. Maybe get a few people to come. Oh, good idea. So, um, so how's Darian and Mrs. Staley? Uh, good. I... I mean, as, as far as I know... Well, we'll tell him I said hi, will you? Sure, I mean, I will. Next time I see him. The guy in the corner said this is the police station. Man, I still don't like this idea. And I still think it's the right thing to do. All right, let me ask you one thing. What? Let me keep the tape while you're in there. Why? Because if this thing goes the way I think it will, then they won't kill you if you don't have the tape on. <laughs> no one's going to kill me. Yeah, well, well, it'll make me feel better. Fine. Here, take it. Just don't go too far away, all right? I'll probably have to come out and get it from you. Yeah, maybe. And if anything does happen, call Taylor. I'm still not sure we can completely trust him, but he seems to know his way around things. Got it. Good luck. <sighs> okay. Shalom. Uh, Shalom. Do you speak English? Yes. Oh, good. I have information about the murder of the rabbi's family. Do, do, do not make jokes. No, I'm serious. I, I saw the men who did it. Please, come with me. Ow, hey! What's going on? There are some people who are interested in talking to you. Very interested. Is this the one? Yes, sir. Leave us. Are you the guy I've been waiting for? I am investigating the Ben Judah case. You're a police officer? Yes, but I answer to the global community. The global community? I thought you were an Israeli cop. You may speak to me as freely as you would speak to the Israeli police. Great. Where is your passport, Mr. Uh, Thompson? Probably back at the hotel. And what about the item you had locked in the hotel safe? What item? Hmm. The item you received from the child of Ben Judah's neighbor. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't need to be afraid. We know all about the object that you received. We know you took it out of the hotel safe this morning. The only thing we don't know is where it is right now. A friend has it. Would that be your slightly younger friend, with the fair hair and the nervous look on his face? <laughs> he should blend in here in Jerusalem quite well, eh? I don't understand this. I came here to help you find a murderer. We already know who the murderer is. No, you think the rabbi killed them. I know he didn't. I've seen the face of... I've, s I've seen the face... You! You, you did it! You killed him! You killed Daniel! As I said, we already know who the killer is. Hmm. The last thing we need right now is someone who can positively identify him. Oh. So now you're gonna kill me? What did you receive from the child? Videotape. He taped the whole killing, and he taped you with your mask off. I see. I'll make you a deal. If you get me that videotape, I'll let you go. Hmm? But I've seen the tape. <laughs> Everyone believes the rabbi killed them. Nobody would believe you if you told them I did it. And if I say no? I will crush your spine before you make it to the door. But you won't have the tape. <laughs> your friend is being watched, just outside the building. You're sure about that? Why would I not be? Because he can be kind of slippery. 
In fact, I'll bet you guys have lost him already. Go ahead, call. I'll wait. That is the boy. What? Oh. Really? Very well then. Let me guess. They were watching him and he just disappeared, right? As you say, he just poof, disappeared. Ha! I told you so. Then he called the front desk to give you a message. What? Oh, yes. He said you were to meet him at 10 o'clock where you talked to your two friends last night. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. You will show us where he is and where the tape is. Then you'll let us go? Of course. How do I know I can trust you? Please. You can trust me. I work for the global community. Alright, I'm not sure how we're going to get Judd from the Wailing Wall back to the airport. I'll take care of that. I have a friend who owns a taxi cab he might let me use. Can it outrun GC cars? It can outrun most cars, but we have to have the plane powered up when we get back to it. Hey, can we do it before we leave to meet him? We can, but then we may have to refuel somewhere before we get back to Chicago. As long as we get out of here alive. You're sure Judd will be there? Yeah, sure as I am of anything right now. Well, for what it's worth, you two don't act like any kids I've ever known. Yeah, <laughs> we get that a lot. It would be easier if you told me where we are going. We're almost there. There is nothing in this area that would interest you. Except that. This is the Veiling Wall. Yeah, this is where we met our friends last night. There is the tape. Uh, I see it. I see it there. On the ground, over there, by the fence. That fence is there for a reason. Yeah, well, I don't have anything to fear from Eli and Moshe. Oh, this is the rest of your hit squad, I presume? These are my loyal officers. They are here to make sure that those monsters don't interfere. Now get the team! Okay, okay. You don't need the gun. Careful, son. They'll kill you if you get too close. Thanks. God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who push the truth away from themselves. Huh? Stand back. Uh, okay. What are you doing? Bring it here. I can't. You have to get it yourself. Bring it here! He won't let me! And he shall execute great vengeance on them with wrathful rebukes. And they shall know that... He is the Lord when he lays his vengeance on them. I'll be over here. You will regret this. This wasn't my plan. Cover them. Someone get the other one. From the taxi. Hey, we had a deal. <laughs> you didn't think I would actually let you leave the country, did you? Cover him. I will get the tape. We proclaim the power of God Almighty, whose majesty is over Israel. Whose power is in the sky? Woe to you, evildoers! Woe to you who shed the blood of the innocent! What? The blood of the righteous calls out! What are you talking about? I have done nothing to you! Vengeance is mine! I shall repay, says the Lord! You stay, stay away from me! <laughs> Let's go! The tape! Forget it, it's melted! Come on, the police are on their way! Let's move! Let's go! Wow! You guys really planned this out, huh? Yeah, I'm getting homesick. I don't want to waste any time. We're about an hour and a half from the East Coast. Another hour and a half to Staley's Airstrip. Uh... You think it's safe to land there after the way we left? Ah, uh, we shouldn't have any problems. Got it. Hello? It sounds kind of fishy to yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it doesn't seem to make much sense to me either. You think the GC are calling sure. all over the Staley's place Yeah, just a second. Ryan, phone's for you. Me? It's Mrs. Staley. Oh, cool. Uh, hello? Ryan, it's me, Darian. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? We are for now. We've had some excitement. So you liking Loretta's? We left Loretta's house two days ago. What? Why? Well, my mother and I don't want to put any of you in danger. If we get caught, anyone who is with us will suffer. 
What's going on? I'll tell you in a second. So, where are you then? I can't say right now. Mother told Taylor we were in Wisconsin, but that's not true. Shoot. Don't what? tell him, though. Well, uh, why not? Is he standing right there? No, he's, he's in the cockpit. My mom thinks he may be setting you guys up. Well, uh, he can't be. I can't explain everything right now, but whatever happens... Don't let him land at my parents' house. Well, that's what the plan is right now. Don't let him take you there. Whatever it takes, you have to land somewhere else. Hey, Taylor. Yeah? Something's wrong with Ryan, man. He just passed out. Is he breathing? I think so. What happened? I don't know. He hadn't said anything since we got that phone call. Then he started moaning a few minutes ago, said his gut hurt, then he flopped. We'll be in Chicago in an hour. An hour? He can't go an hour. If it's his appendix or something... What do you want me to do? Where's the nearest airport? Uh, Grand Rapids? Good, land there. See if they can have an ambulance ready to take him to the hospital, okay? I'll see what I can do. So what's the deal with this kid? Don't know. They call in an emergency. Abdominal pain. Well, let's not waste any time. I got a party to get to. He's over here! He's right here! Let's go have a look. Careful with him. Get his feet. Get him on the stretcher. On three. Lift. One, two, three. Can I ride along? Yeah. Ryan, can you hear me? Uh, uh, uh huh. Yeah. Where's it hurt? Um, I, my stomach. Show me. Uh, here. Here. That's too high for appendix. Get him on an IV. Uh, you know, actually, um, I'm feeling a lot better. No. Lie down, son. This won't hurt. No, no, I'm serious. I feel fine. My, my stomach, it doesn't hurt at all. Wow, huh? Maybe he just needed to get off the plane. Is this a joke? No, not at all. I'm, you know, probably just a bad flyer or something. Stop the car. Uh, hey, uh, 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 thanks for your help. Yeah, we appreciate it, guys. Hey, get back in here. Come back, come. This whole world's falling off his rocker. What was that all about? I don't know. But if I ever see those two again, he will need medical help. So we got away from Graham. Now what? We rent a car and drive back home. Judd, man, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Now we can't trust Graham either? I guess not. <sighs> you ever feel like we're all alone in the world and everybody else is trying to hurt us? Every day, Ryan. Every stinking day.